Out of the 100 plus element of the periodic table, few have a relatively recent history as rich as that of radium. Element 88 sits at the bottom left corner of the table and is the only radioactive alkali earth metal. When pure, the metal is silvery, white or grayish and share a lot of its chemical property with barium. Discovered by Pierre and Mary Curie in trace amount uranium ore in December 1898, it was not isolated until September 1910. The story begins in Paris, France in early March 1896. Henry Beckwell was conducting an experiment with photographic plates and various substances to detect phosphorescence mainly in minerals. He found that even without prior exposure to sunlight, uranium salt leave an impression on photographic plates. Since uh, nothing visible appeared to be emanating from uranium, and with the recent discovery of the X-ray in mind, he concluded, One possible idea which presents itself quite naturally would be to think of the invisible emanation of uranium as greatly similar to those produced by the rays studied by Mr. Röntgen. These observations intrigued a young Polish immigrant by the name of Mary Slodowska, recently married to Pierre Curie. This marriage can arguably be called one of the most scientifically prolific in history. Pierre Curie had recently invented a sensitive electrometer and this device will help the couple identify and measure radioactivity. Mary started her PhD on the mysterious rays of uranium and rapidly discovered that the activity of pitch blend, a rich uranium ore, was four times that of uranium metal alone. The conclusion was inescapable. Something else, far more radioactive, must be present in uranium ore. In a few short years, Pierre and Mary Curie had published dozens of papers and identified two new elements, polonium in July of 1898 and radium in December of that same year. As early as 1902, they recognized the ability of radiations to kill cancer cells. The following year, in 1903, Henry Beckwell, Pierre, and Mary Curie received the Nobel Prize of Physics for the discovery of radioactivity. Pierre and Mary Curie had also identified nine different forms of radium, which they name radium emanation, radium A, B, C, etc. But it's Frederick Sodi who recognized element of different mass as isotope in 1913. Sadly, Pierre will not see his wife receive the second Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1911 for her discovery of polonium and isolation of radium. He was killed by a horse carriage crossing the street on April 19th, 1906. It is difficult to overstate the impact Pierre and Mary Curie had on the scientific community and the significance of the discovery. The Curie is defined as the activity of one gram of pure radium in equilibrium with its emanation. One Curie is roughly equal to 37 billion decay per seconds or 37 billion Beckwells. The couple was featured on the highest French banknote from 1995 to 2002 before the euro replaced it. Mary Curie is the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize and as of 2022 she is also the only woman to have received two Nobel Prize in two different disciplines. Her daughter Irene Giulio Curie was also awarded a Nobel Prize for discovery of artificial radioactivity in 1935. As the world learned about the existence of radium, misinformation and con artists quickly turned the new element into a miracle cure. Between 1905 
and World War II, a plethora of radium products are sold, claiming the benefit of radioactivity on the body. Curiously, this frenzy continues to this day. Recently, Radioactive Drew visited a radon cure mine in Montana. But the scientific community knew about the harmful effect of radiation for quite some time. Beckwall himself suffered burned on his body after carrying around a few grams of radium. In those days, the benefits of radiations are everywhere, and radium is considered a rejuvenating product, and many are taken advantage. In America, corporate greed is in full swing. By the 1920s, the U.S. Radium Corporation in New Jersey and the Radium Dial Company in Illinois hires hundreds of young women to paint, clock, and eyesight with undark, a radium-based paint supposedly harmless. The girls are encouraged to sharpen their brushes with their lips. And one time we had one girl that even painted her teeth and, leave, and held her mouth open till it dried on there. See, it dried. And then the three of us, we went in the dark room to make faces at each other, see. And then you can, you don't see nothing, nobody. All you see is the radium. So all you're looking at is eyebrows and mustaches and your teeth. And she was my best friend. And she was a good worker too. And then before I knew it, she got sick and she had the broken jawbone. It never healed. In two years, she was dead. After the first few radium-related death in 1924, lawsuits are laying the groundwork for what we know today as the Occupational Safety Health Administration, or OSHA. Radium show up again in World War II. Paratroopers are given glow-in-the-dark markers to help identify themselves and targets. In this footage of then General Commander Dwight Eisenhower shows 31-year-old Chief of Staff and future General John McKellis wearing such a device on his helmet following the future president. Iron Mike, as he was known, had a long life despite the highly radioactive disc on his forehead during D-Day. 78 years later, this device has lost its glow but still remain as radioactive as day one. It contains a few micrograms of radium sulfate. And although everybody knew about radioactivity in the 40s, military applications were still a secret. One year before the atomic bomb and 30 years before the NRC, labeling for radioactive material was not required, which explains the poison inside deception. These discs are more than the radium they contained. Only about 300 of them exist. And they are relic of a different time. If you ever come across one of these relics, handle it with care and gloves and wash your hands after handling it, as the steel integrity cannot be certain and never ever try to break it open. It is preferable to store it in a clearly labeled container airtight because the first step in the decay chain of radium is radon-222. I have been monitoring my basement for radon for several years and never seen anything over 2.3 picocurie per liters long term or 2.7 picocurie per liters short term. Placing the disc and the meter in a closed chamber for 48 hours reveal a 241.3 picocurie per liters. After radon-222, the simplified decay chain of radium-226 include polonium-218, lead-214, bismuth-214, polonium-214, lead-210, bismuth-210, polonium-210, and finally, lead-206. If we compare the gamma spectrum of radium-226 with that of pitchblende, 
it's easy to see what Mary Curie saw 125 years ago. Besides the uranium peak, they are virtually the same, since we now know uranium-238 is the parent of radium-226, this makes perfect sense. Radium is no longer in our everyday life as it used to, but it is still a subject of research. In 1980, a different type of radioactivity was speculated and discovered in 1984. Cluster decay is a type of radioactivity between alpha decay and spontaneous fission, where a whole nucleus, like carbon or neon, is ejected instead of an alpha particle. And this was first observed in the nucleus of radium-223. In 1995, the body of Pierre and Marie Curie were exhumed to be honored and admitted into the Pantheon, the most prestigious mausoleum in France where they remain in peace to this day. Madame Curie, the gold medal of our college, the highest mark of distinction which we can confer upon anyone. And you, Madame Curie, has given to the world more than any other single individual that which we radiologists have longed for, the wonderful agent which has done more for the treatment of cancer than anything else in this wide world. We are deeply grateful to you, and we appreciate you coming here for this honor, which we are glad to bestow upon you. I am trying to give us what we have. Collège américain de radiologie et de la société américaine de radiologie pour le témoignage d'estime qu'elle m'a apporté ici et auquel je suis extrêmement Merci beaucoup, madame. Damn it!